Well, we got another snowblower that will not start. In this case, it's a Toro Powermax uh, snowblower. Uh, it, customer said it started for a few seconds and then it just died and then would not start up again. Uh, so I'm gonna check the spark on the spark plugs right here on the side. So we're just gonna take off this the boot and we're gonna check to see if this thing has spark. Possibly it just fouled the plug. Spark plug doesn't look too bad, but as you can see, we do not have spark. So I suspect it's fouled. So let's put in a new one. And we have spark. Part of me has high confidence that it is going to start. So I'm gonna check the oil to make sure that it's got oil in it. And actually this one is really high. So this is one thing that it's not common, but I do see it. Um, you can see where my thumb is right here. That's where the oil is at. You can see on this dipstick that high is down here. And actually it should just be right in the middle. So there's way too much oil in it. Um, is that bad? Yes. Is it going to kill it when we initially started up here? No, um, but we're going to change the oil as part of the service. So let's give it a shot. He is in, gas is on, choke is on, it's in the turtle. So up at this point, you know, it's gotta be something carburetor related. Um, when I prime it, you see gas is coming out, which it will do, um, but not that much. And it, I only primed it like once or twice. So maybe something's clogged in the carburetor. I got the shroud off, everything, but we're going to just test it with some starting fluid real quick. Starting fluid's in there. Let's see if it fires now. Well, there's always a first for everything when I work on these. Um, like I said, I noticed that a lot of gas was seemed like it was coming out when I was priming it. And you'll see here, got the primer hooked up. You see where the, ga the gas is coming out from the seal, from the bowl to the body of the carburetor. So that would explain why it won't start because that prime is, should be shooting the gas into the top of the cylinder. So let's just pull this carburetor out, take this apart, and see what's going on there. All right, so you just removed this 10 millimeter bolt off the bottom, and hopefully my, my little fluorescent light up here is not messing with my video too much. Um, it's cold out, it doesn't wanna run right. Huh. The seal here looks good. The bowl is now seated correctly. I'm, you know, I, I'm working on this for a customer. I don't know what they did or did not do to it prior to calling me, but there was definitely a gap right here. 
that is gone. Um, so I have a suspicion if we put this back on that we're going to run. You're probably wondering, what am I doing here? I'm tightening the carburetor on so I can try to start it without putting everything together. Um, no sense of putting it all back together if it will not start. Gas is on. Let's prime it. All right, so now the gas is coming out of the carburetor, not from that seal. Now let's try to start it. I didn't show putting all this back together. Um, it's just the reverse of taking it apart. And uh, yeah, that'll be a wrap on this uh, particular snowblower. Um, so I hope it helped you out. If you have any questions about the work I've done, put them down in the comments below. And we'll see you on my next video.